Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss what is the most anticipated drone of the year 2018. Now I'm talking camera drones, not those smaller drones or toy drones. I'm talking the expensive camera drones. So what could it be? Well, I'm going to tell you, and I'm not making this stuff up. This all comes from you, the viewers. So before I get started, I should say that everything I'm about to tell you is relevant as of today. And today is the 14th of June, the year 2018. Now, over the past five months, I've discussed all the new drones that are coming out on this channel. I've sent out polls on YouTube and thousands of you have responded. I've read all of your comments that you've made in each of the videos. And what I started doing about a month and a half ago is I started taking a poll, basically marking down who's more interested in what type of drone and for what reason. And then uh, in the last week, I've added everything up and I've come up with what would be the most anticipated drone by all of you for the year 2018. Now I've come up with six different drones. So I'm going to list them from number six all the way up to number one. I have all of the drones listed on cards in envelopes. So I have all the way from number six, five, all the way up to number one. This is the most anticipated drone of the year 2018. Which drone could it be? Well, I'm sure you probably already know, but guess what? I thought I knew, and this is not what I expected. I expected it to be a different drone. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the results, and once again, these results are all based on information that you, the viewers, have provided. Now, let's start off with number six. So in this envelope is the name of the drone that people are looking forward to receiving in the year 2018, but it made number six on the list, vice number one. So I'll tell you why. Let's open it up and see what it is. Can you guess as I open this? All right, let's go. We have a nice little card here. I flip this open. There is the name. It is the Unique Typhoon H Pro. So why did this end up being number six? Why was it at number four, three, two, one? Well, let me tell you. So the Unique Typhoon H Pro Plus is a drone that a lot of people are waiting for because, well, it's a hexacopter. Not a lot of hexacopters on the market. And of course, by hexacopter, I mean it has six motors, six props. And usually drones like that, especially the Typhoon, you can actually kill a motor or break a prop and it will still fly. It's one of the few drones on the market that has a retractable landing gear. Again, it's also one of the few drones on the market that comes with a seven inch touchscreen display built into the controller. It has an amazing camera. The camera is just as good as the camera on the Phantom 4 Pro, but probably a little bit better in its capabilities because this camera is a 4K camera. It records at 60 frames per second. The data is captured at 100 megabits per second, but unlike the Phantom, the camera can actually rotate 360 degrees continuously. And finally, the last thing that makes the Typhoon H really cool is that it comes with RealSense obstacle avoidance. Now, RealSense obstacle avoidance is a type of avoidance that is the best, probably one of the best on the market for when the drone is in follow me mode. When the drone is following you, the obstacle avoidance will always face forward, no matter which direction the camera is facing. Okay then, so you're saying, well, that sounds awesome. I'm gonna buy a Typhoon H Pro Plus. Why isn't it number one on your list or higher on your list? Well, it has some things that people are not fond of, and those would be first off, the price. It's $1,899 US. Whew, that's a huge dollar figure, especially for a drone in its category. It only has a range of just over a mile using Wi-Fi. Some people are not too fussy about the controller. They find it, although it has an integrated seven inch touchscreen display, some people find the controller way too big. For a drone that price, people are still complaining about the batteries. For some reason, Unique does not use a smart battery. So the batteries do not discharge. The batteries cannot tell the drone that I've just flown out half a mile and I only have so much power, you better turn around and fly back because I have enough power to get back. It just shows you a bar of how much power is left and you have to guess. And finally, from the comments posted, another feature people are not too fond of is that the Typhoon H does not have active track. Thank you, DJI. DJI has us so familiar with Active Track that we see it in companies like Autel. We see it now even in the new Parrot and Afi. But Unique does not use Active Track. Unique requires some sort of device in your hands for the drone to follow, but it's probably the best follow me mode on the market. All right, so that was the Typhoon H Pro Plus. Now let's move on to number five. Number five. There we go. What could it possibly be? What do you think? Well. Doesn't matter what you think because I can't hear you. I'm talking into a camera. Uh, let me pull this out. Here we go. What do we have? Here we go. It is, surprise, surprise. It's the Parrot Anafi. The number five most anticipated drone of the year 2018 is the Parrot Anafi. Hey, it came out late, but uh, it made the list. 
It's even more popular than the Typhoon H. Why? I'll tell you why. First off, it's the price. It's $699 US. Yes, that made a lot of people wake up and take a look and say, there's a drone out there with a 4K camera at $699 US. Well, guess what? Pair to Naffy. And the 4K camera is not just your normal 4K camera, it's actually got a nice little Sony sensor, so you know it's gonna be pretty decent. And it actually records at 100 megabits per second, like most cameras coming out on the market today, which is really good. And what makes the Pair to Naffy really neat in the camera division is that the camera can point 180 degrees up or down. No other drone that I'm aware of at that price range does that. And it also has a zoom and the zoom actually has a lossless function, which means that you can zoom in and not lose any detail. And rounding off all the top features of the Parrot and Naffy that people love would be that it actually has a four kilometer range. That's really good. Finally, it's light, it's portable, it's quiet. What can you say? It's a drone that ticks off a lot of the pluses that people are looking for. So then why is it number five? Why is it not number four, three, two, or one? Well, it's because it's lacking obstacle avoidance. And for some people, that's a showstopper. So there we have drones number six and five. Let's move on to drone number four. The fourth most anticipated drone of the year 2018, as picked by you, the viewers, is... Here we go. Hmm. What could it be? Let's take a look. Ho ho! Surprise, surprise, it's the Autel Evo. So what makes the Autel Evo much more anticipated than the Peridonafi or the Typhoon H Pro Plus? Well, like those drones, it has a 4K camera that records at 60 frames per second, but like the Peridonafi, it's a small sensor. Unlike the Typhoon H Pro Plus, which is a one inch sensor, that's a real camera. But you know, the Autel Evo does pretty good because it's using some really good sensors and some good processors to make the image actually look better. Unlike the Anafi, well, it has obstacle avoidance, something a lot of people really want nowadays. So the sensors are in the front, in the back and on the bottom. And from what I've seen in demos, it seems to work quite well. It's also very quiet and it has a seven kilometer range. It has probably 90% of the features that the Mavic Pro currently has. So it's like buying a Mavic Pro, but making a better Mavic Pro. According to documentation, it has zero no-fly zones, so you can fly this anywhere. And since it's made by Autel, and it's not made by DJI, you can expect no constant firmware updates on a weekly basis, which ruins your whole day. So that's a plus. But then why did the Autel Evo only come in number four? Well, it's lacking in a few places, and this is basically what people have said. Well, first of all, it's not currently available outside of the US, so you can't really compete with all the other drones on the market. Once Autel opens it up to the rest of the world, then we'll see how good it really does. And as we've seen with many of the YouTube unboxing videos already, people are not that impressed with what Autel is giving us with this drone. In other words, they're giving us next to nothing. I'm sure if this drone was a worldwide launch, it would be higher on the list. All right, so let's move on to drone number three. What is the third most anticipated drone of the year 2018? You're gonna be surprised, I know I was. Number three, here we go. Now, before you freak out when you see what the answer is, remember, you guys pick this. So here it is. Number three, the third most anticipated drone of the year 2018 is, let's just flip this open. You ready? The DJI Spark Pro. Seriously, little foldable arms. Well, that's actually what a lot of people would like. So the reason it's on the list is because I actually asked the question a few times. I said, if there was a drone coming out and there was a Spark Pro, and here's the other drones, the Autel, the Anafi, and all the other Phantoms and whatnot, what would you pick? And uh, a lot of people picked the Spark Pro because people are looking for the Spark as we already know it. They want a 4K camera on it, they want foldable arms, and they want OcuSync. Will DJI make such a drone? Yes. Will they make it this year? I have no idea. But it made our list, so let's move on to drone number two. And here it is, the second most anticipated drone of the year 2018. Well, there's only a few left, so I'm sure you've guessed it by now. If not, you're not gonna be surprised because this is something people have been asking for for a long time. What could it possibly be? Well, let's flip this open and there we have it. The DJI Phantom Pro 5. Right now we have the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0. That's all they've come out with and now they're just sticking with the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0. I don't know anybody out there who doesn't really love the Phantom 4 Pro 2. It's an awesome drone. I have one and of course you've seen me use it many times. I love it. But people want 
the Phantom Pro 5 because everybody wants something better. You can always make something a little bit better. Now we've seen this image on YouTube where a lot of people thought this was the Phantom 5, but you could tell it was the Phantom 4 in reality because if you look at the controller, the controller is not OcuSync. And if you look at the design of the Phantom in these images, well, it's the design of the Phantom 4 Pro. And if anybody's been around as long as I have and been with DJI as long as I have, we all know that each generation of Phantom will always come with a new design. Somehow there'll be a new design. So the Phantom 5, whenever it comes out, either they'll come out with a Phantom 5 or a Phantom 5 Pro or a Phantom Pro 5, whatever they want to call it. When that comes out, it's going to be a new design. So with the new generation, don't expect the typical little Phantom design that we see here. Expect something a, a bit different and having a bit different capabilities. Does that mean they're going to make it smaller? Possibly. Will they make it flatter, more compact? I think so. Will it have the same form factor? I think they'll keep that because that's a staple of the Phantom series and everybody sees that and they think DJI. But they will make it different so that it stands out from all the other clones that are like a Phantom today. Because DJI never likes people making products, cloning products that looks like their products because it causes confusion in the market. So when they come out with a new generation, they usually always make the generation look different for that purpose. All the filters you have today, the batteries you have for your Phantom 4 Pro, they're not going to work with the Phantom 5. Well, is it coming out this year? Again, I don't know. If I had to guess if it was coming out this year and if I went from a business model, DJI, like any corporation, has to put out some sort of product within every quarter. So it doesn't matter what the product is and it doesn't have to be a drone, but you have to put out products in the quarter in order to make revenue for all your R&D. So I would say if they're gonna put out a Phantom 5, it's gonna come sometime in possibly October. Or they could launch it earlier to compete with other drones on the market. And now on to the most anticipated drone of the year 2018. Ooh, I'm so excited. Well, before we get into this, here's a word from our sponsors. Winner, winner, you are a winner. Ooh, I'm so excited. The number one most anticipated drone of the year 2018, as picked by you, would be, can you guess it? Here we go. It is, that's a pretty cool picture. Flip that over. Wow, check that out. Is that a surprise? DJI Mavic Pro 2. There's more people waiting for this drone than there are people who are ready to buy a drone as of today. This drone does not exist, but yet everybody wants it and they're willing to forego buying a drone today for this drone here. Everybody wants a DJI Mavic Pro 2 of one form or another. Sure, everybody loves the Mavic Pro, but again, it's a year and a half old. It's getting long in the tooth like the Phantom 4. Um, so what's everybody want? Well, everybody wants a better camera, a better gimbal. We want sensors in the back, you know, just common stuff. Maybe sensors on the side, normal thing. You want a longer battery so we get over 30 minutes flight time because this thing's pretty decent. It's already got a good range, so we don't really care about the range. We love the OcuSync. We'd like it to be a little bit smaller and we'd love if DJI stuck a few more little smart features in it. But hang on a sec. What did I just describe there? Think about it for a sec. Everything I just described. Hmm. I'm going to guess that DJI may not come out with a Mavic Pro 2 this year because everything people want would be you ready for this? The Mavic Air Pro. Yeah, I know it sounds pretty crazy, but think about it. Everything you want in the Mavic Pro 2, well, wouldn't it be easier to take the Mavic Air, add OcuSync to it, very easy to do, enhance the camera, the sensor's already okay, but enhance it so it actually records at 60 frames per second or even higher in 4K. It already records at 100 megabits per second, so we're almost there. Increase the battery so that we actually get a much longer flight duration. It can be done. These batteries are pretty inexpensive. You can pack a battery this size. You can pack a lot more power into it. DJI has opted to not do that to save on money. It's already got the rear sensors for obstacle avoidance and it's got the front sensors. It's too easy to put some sort of sensor on the top if they wanted to. It's a lot of space back there. It already has a lot of cool smart features and DJI can easily add more smart features to this drone just by firmware updates and extra features within the DJI Go 4 app. This controller is very basic. It would not take DJI very much time to make this controller very high quality. In other words, certainly like Hotel, they could put a screen in it if they wish. They could make it a different design. It would have to be OcuSync as we've already discussed. So what do you think for the year 2018? You think DJI is going to release a Mavic Pro 2? or a Mavic Air Pro. My guess, if I was DJI, I would go for the Mavic Air Pro. Simple reason, 
goes back to what I said about the Phantom 5, the market starts to get saturated with look-alike models. Autel has already cloned the Mavic Pro, but there's nothing on the market that looks like a Mavic Air, does what a Mavic Air does at the Mavic Air price range. And it sold pretty well for DJI, so I'm going to guess that DJI is going to make the Mavic Air Pro hopefully in the year 2018, and that will knock the socks off all the competition. And all you guys that want the Mavic Pro too, well, hopefully you're happy with the Mavic Air Pro. That's just my guess. Myself, personally, I'd love to have a Spark that had a 4K camera and OcuSync. That would be my favorite. So what do you guys think? Hey, I took all this from what you guys provided on comments all throughout my videos over the last four months and in polls, and this is what I've come up with. If you disagree with it, well then, post your comments below and tell me what you think should be the number one anticipated drone of the year 2018. Or give me your thoughts on the Phantom 5. Is it going to come out this year? What's it going to include? Or maybe the Mavic Pro. Is there going to be a Mavic Pro 2? Or is it going to be a Mavic Air Pro? You know, everything is up in the air with DJI. They can come out with whatever they want. They have the resources. It's not a big stretch for them. They probably got all these drones sitting on the shelf right now, all ready to go, ready to launch at any time. And like I said, they have have to launch a product every quarter. It doesn't have to be a drone, so I'm sure we're going to see something from DJI in the consumer hobby drone market before the end of the year 2018. I have no idea which one they're going to launch next. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, a big like, and if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button because I have videos every week on all sorts of topics, especially drone reviews, drone flights, and conversations like this. And for now, I'll say take care, and we'll catch you in the next video.